Hey there and welcome back to the logo intro animation we are doing in PowerPoint. So I hope you did follow along all these steps. You have the rectangles, you have the first animation. I will turn the background again to white so we see better what is going on. You simply have to select solid fill and change the color. Alright, now we see the rectangles again. Select again all five of them. As you see in the selection pane I did select all of them and we will add a new animation to the rectangles. It will be a spin animation. We can't click it here, we need to go to add animation and select it from this pane. If we would select it here, it would simply replace the original animation. Since we want several animation to be attached to those rectangles, please go to add animation and select spin. Once the animations are live, right click on the first one Select with previous, so all the animations are going together seamlessly. Once again I select all of them, I double click on them, I go to effect and now I want them to start smoothly, not end. One other adjustment we need to make is to adjust the amount of the spin. 360 degrees is way 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 too much. We need to make it a quarter spin, so it's 90 degrees and hit OK. Now as you see, the rectangles make a quarter of a spin. Ok, the animation is way too slow now. Please select all of the animations and reduce its duration to one second. Now what we have to do, we will play with the exact animation timings later. Let us preview the effect now. Ok, the rectangles are coming in and they are turning. It should, This should all happen simultaneously, so I go to the animations once again, and I delay them a little bit. I believe we will need to change them soon, but let's preview the effect we have now. Ok, this is going in the direction we want to achieve. We want the rectangles to go and spin one after another. We are complete with this part of the animation. A quick recap. I selected all rectangles and I did add a spin animation. I also double clicked on the animation and made them a smooth start and 90 degrees clockwise. Please apply all the changes and we will be one step closer to finishing the design. This was a really important animation and in the next step we will do you will know really more about PowerPoint and how to prepare such a design from scratch till finish. I want to invite you to the next lesson and let's continue with the animation we are making.